hello and welcome back so guys i was thinking to add some kind of styles to this area and maybe this area as well so i'm just going to the notepad and actually what i'm just doing first of all i'm just adding the a tag okay covering and just closing the a tag at the end oh this should be ended like that now save and then here i'm just setting the simple hash save and refresh now i can hover the mouse looking perfect well this should not be like that actually i just want to make the whole area uh, as a link so if you just want to create the link so if you remember that we have to make them as div instead of the ul because i just want to make the links so just remove this one from there and this one as well and now this should be a a and a all of them a a and a okay now save now there the a a again a again again a a and a and add any space in here for making it the link at the hyphens the sorry the hyper reference as I'm doing sorry about that now that's perfect save and refresh now all of them are just like link looking perfect but actually I just want to make some kind of styles so I'm just going to the style.css and here I'm just calling the list sorry dot list group what is the list group I'm just showing you one time more here in the index.html this is the list group and these are the A's of that list group so I'm just going there and I'm just talking about the list groups A okay so well specifically in the hover state I'm just adding the background as blue I'm just testing that is working or no refresh and is it's exactly working so just add transition or I think that uh, when I just want to add the transition so it should be in the status of uh, state of uh, simple the link status and here I'm just setting the transition you know that uh, at this time it's its background color is light silver which is actually already in the hover state uh, actually the hover background color so I'm just transiting the background okay and uh, what I'm just doing is the background 0.5s save and refresh now hover the mouse it's transiting beautifully and this is just like what I just wanted to create well uh, we can do some more things for example list group a and if you just want to add some kind of background some kind of a specific background so you can add like maroon I'm just testing this hover and hover the mouse oh I just did this not perfectly this should be the hover state refresh now hover the mouse and this is just like so now what more we can do is to just add the color as white save and hover the mouse now you can see that it's looking perfect but if, it, if it's not then you can do a lot of things as you know by the way making it more perfect there is the area uh, the badges we have to edit them as well so dot badges badge and here the badge background color should be white okay and text color should be maroon so save and refresh now this is what I just wanted the background color has been changed but actually I just want this when it gets the hover but exactly it's not getting the hover the whole a tag is getting the hover so we have to use jQuery for this thing so I think that we should remove this one I hope you understood why I just did that refresh that back and actually this is what I just created right now so here for the daily chart area I'm just uh, calling there is a panel default I'm just uh, typing instead of the default I'm just typing panel custom okay now save and then here there is no style so I'm just going there and actually adding an enter and dot custom no I think that uh, this thing can make our work very lengthy because we have to call the panel heading and other things so I think it should be primary I'm just testing that the primary is looking good or no 
So refresh now. This is the primary color and uh, actually looking not really cool. So I think that the default is perfect. So now guys, I just want to show you that we can apply the transition effects and a lot of effects uh, to the simple bootstrap file. We'll learn some more things in the next class. Stay tuned and goodbye.